you just got your Arc to 7P wireless and you're trying to set it up. Well, stay tuned for this video and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Hey everyone, this is Or from Wicked Cushions and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Arctis 7P wireless on your PC and on your PS5. The Arctis 7P wireless is extremely easy to set up straight out of the box. You have your wireless transmitter and all you gotta do is plug it in and start playing. But there is another way to take out the best out of your Arctis 7P wireless and in this video today, I will show you exactly how to do that. Now I know, I know that you've been looking at these Arctis 7P wireless and you're wondering to yourself, where the hell did I get those sexy ear pads from? Stay tuned to the end of this video and we'll show you exactly where you can grab a pair and try them out. Okay, so for this step, you want to download the SteelSeries Engine 3 software. I linked it in the description, so go download it, install it, and come back. A few moments later. Once installed, you want to turn on your headphones by pressing the power button for three seconds and you want to connect your wireless transmitter to your laptop. Once you connect the wireless transmitter to the laptop, it will immediately show up, but it's still not fully connected. Once the wireless transmitter will pair to the headphones, the battery level is gonna show up underneath where it says Arctis 7P wireless. If your wireless transmitter is not pairing to your headphones for some reason, which it should already come paired from the factory, I'll show you at the end of this video, how to repair it. So once it's paired completely and the battery level shows up, you can click on this and start tweaking some stuff. So what you have inside, you have your equalizer, you have presets, you have uh, basically ready-made presets already, uh, basically pre-made uh, equalizers uh, adjustments. You have dynamic range compression, you have live mic, you have mic volume, and you can also choose uh, how long will it be until your headset automatically turns off if you haven't used it. So when you do adjust your equalizer, you want to have live preview on. So let's say for example, you want to adjust this equalizer for shooting sounds or something like that. What you can do is you can have a YouTube video in the background with you can look for let's say Call of Duty shooting sounds or step sounds and then you can put that on the background. A live preview basically once you change and tweak the stuff, the sound will live preview and will basically change. So if you want to tweak steps, you can start playing with this, hear steps in a YouTube video, and actually you'll see how it affects it. So another cool feature is, let's say you want to have different sets for different um, games, you can basically add as many configurations as you want, just name them whatever, and then you can adjust the EQ as you wish, save it, and then you can always change it. So basically, once you come here, you can change your configuration. Let's say I'll change it to League of Legends. And then when you go to your uh, PlayStation, or if you say you still play on your computer, it will go to the configuration. Now, if your wireless transmitter is not paired to your headphones, let me show you what you need to do. So if your wireless transmitter is not pairing to your headphones, you want to connect the wireless transmitter to your PC. And then you want to press the power button on your headphones for six seconds. After you did that, you are going to either go in here or you can click in here and you can click this but that's basically the same thing. So if you click this from here, pair device, you will see that you have this uh, right here where it says the wireless transmitter is connected. But one more step is that you need to do is you need to take the micro USB cable. You see how it's X'd out in here because I did not do that right now. But when you connect your micro USB from the headphones to your computer and the wireless transmitter is also connected to your computer, they're both gonna have green check marks and then you're just going to click start pairing and it will pair it to your wireless transmitter if it fails just wait 20 seconds click start pairing again and then it should work okay so to set them up on your ps5 it's going to be very straightforward take the wireless transmitter and connect it to your ps5 it's with usb-c and there's a usb-c opening on your ps5 now press the power button on your headphones for three seconds and turn them on once it is paired you're going to go to settings 
in settings, you're gonna go to sound and you'll start with your microphone. You see it already recognizes the Arcta 7P. In here, you can adjust your microphone level as the default is gonna be on half. You can take it up as much as you want. And after that, you're gonna to go to audio output. It will be already on Arcta 7P. You just gotta make sure that output to headphones is on all audio and you wanna enable 3D audio. This is one of the coolest features on the PS5 for headphones. And in here, you wanna adjust your 3D audio profile. So let me explain to you a little bit what this is. This will basically tell you, um, it will make a sound and that sound will be able to, you will recognize what height is your ear level, basically. So as you can see here, type one is higher, type five is lower. When it plays a sound, you will either on one of these types, you will hear it on your ear level. For me, that's type three. If I play that sound on type one, it feels like it's uh, on the top right, like I'm hearing something from the top. So you wanna adjust it to your ear level and then all the other three, 3D audio sounds will be adjusted according to that one. So most people are gonna be type three, but some are gonna be either type two, four, five, or one. And after this, you're gonna to go to volume. As a default, it's gonna be about half. I already raised it all the way to the top because you have your own slider on your Arctis 7P. And that's it. If you've ever seen any of my Arctis videos, you know what I think about the original ear pads. In my opinion, they're damn near perfect. However, there are some people that don't find them as comfortable as I find them. If you are one of these people, these ear pads that you see on these headphones right now are your perfect solution. These are our hybrid velour line ear pads. The design that you see right here is the hybrid velour speed racer, half velour, half speed racer, half amazing, that's three halves, math. So if you wanna take comfort to the next level with your Arctis headphones, these ear pads are the perfect solution for you. Simply grab them by clicking the link at the top right corner right now or in the description below and let us know what you think. And that is it for today's video, everyone. I hope that it was helpful and that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy your Arctis 7P wireless. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every month. I will see you on the next one. Meanwhile, stay wicked, my friends.